In this video, we're going to look at how to run a debug inside the integration development toolkit. And to get started, what you'll do is simply open up your message flow. And then if you haven't already deployed it, uh, it's, you of course need to deploy it in our environment. So I'm going to, mine's already deployed. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna right click on this and delete it. And to deploy it, first of all, we need to go to that message flow and if we and we have to see inside the uh, our independent resources if we have a bar file there to deploy it what you would do is you go to your bar fly bar bar file and you drag it on top of your this is your integration node this is your integration server drop it on top of the integration server that will deploy it and then if by the way you ever need to change something so like say you go in here and you needed to modify one of these some one of the properties you can do that and then once you do you say you make a change here of some kind whatever it is then you can update the bar file itself and to do that what you would do is double click on this bar file and then you go here to rebuild and save the bar file yes and then you click on ok and what that's going to do essentially is update the deployed bar file which is a really nice way to up, uh, update something in your in your flow without redeploying and that way you'll save some time so now let's go back to our message flow and from here we need to basically go down to the integration node go beneath it to the server then right click and click on launch debugger now the first time you do this it's going to ask you for a port and so your screen should look something like this you can type in any number that you want so long as there's no conflict this is a tcp ip port so you want to check that your server is not already using one of these ports and an easy way to do that is to just go into your machine type ss space turn app and you can do a grep 423232 which is what we typed in and you'll see that we have one listening here and that's because uh, we, have, oh, we have this debug session running on that port but if you hadn't if you weren't sure if that was open of course you could type in some other port say three here and you should get no results if that's the case you can use that port number okay so i'm just going to click on cancel here then i'm going to click on ok uh, eclipse will ask if you want to open up the debug perspective for now i'm going to click on no but what's nice here now is you can go to this flow right click on this link here and you can add a breakpoint, which means once you start debugging this, it will break at this section, this intersection really, between these two nodes. And I'd also like to have a breakpoint here, so I'm gonna click Add Breakpoint. And now what's interesting is that if you open up RFHUtil and you click on Write Queue, so I'm going, this is the in queue here on the left, this is my MQ input, I'm going to write a message to that queue. If I do that, Notice how the debugger automatically recognizes that a new message was put into that queue and wants to debug it. And it wants to know if, we'll, if we want to open up our debug perspective. I'm going to click on yes. And when you do that, notice what you can see here. You can get an interactive view, like you would expect from a debugger, of the message. And so you can see its properties. You can see its MQMD. You can see its XML NSC. You get all this really great information. And right now, we're at that first breakpoint. So if you want to go to the next breakpoint, and by the way, you can see where you're at if you click here under the message flow, right? So this is essentially what we, what you know, what we were looking, what we were looking at in the other perspective, on our integration, uh, d you know, development perspective. So if I want to go to that next breakpoint, we're here right now. If we want to go to this one, uh, you would go up here and click on resume, and now we can get to the next point, and then we're going to see here the same thing because right now we're not doing anything fancy with that uh, with the message but, but there you go and you can see all these great details and it's also nice because you get this kind of string representation of all the um, all the content in your well whatever you've whatever you've clicked on especially here in the XML NSC um, part of the message so one of the problems you're going to run into here is that you won't see anything in this section down here where it says source not found. So click on add and then select the message flow container and then select your project source. So now when you click on OK, you'll see all of the, uh, you'll see your message flow and you'll see the current breakpoint that you're, you're uh, working on. So as you, you know, move from breakpoint to point break, you'll, you'll break point to break point, you'll see exactly where you're at in your variables tab will reflect that point in the execution.